place may look to you like any other ordinary warehouse on the edge of downtown Miami, but it's not. Inside, magic and fantasy are coming to life. Come on, let's go in and take a look. Welcome to a world of mythical characters and make-believe. This is the place where the fantastic floats for the King Orange Jamboree Parade are built. The work has been going on since last spring. Today, the crew was busy putting the finishing touches on the 30 floats that will capture our imaginations. It takes a crew of 15 construction workers, painters, and mechanics to weave this wizardry. People like Robbie Robinson. He's been building floats for this parade for 37 years, but this is his last one. At age 67, he's hanging up his hammer. It's tough. It's a lot of work, okay. especially parade day. We start at 2 o'clock in the morning. We wind up at midnight. You never get to see the parade. Another person who won't see the parade is Gene Bauer. He's the electrician, the man who puts life into the floats with the flick of a switch. I run about 38,000 light bulbs this year. And I put every light bulb, every socket you know, on every wire. And it is truly mind-boggling just how much light and glitter it takes to make these floats. How about 25,000 yards of floral sheeting, 150,000 cherry lights, and 20,000 staples per float. The theme of this year's parade is pure imagination, and it will be depicted by paper mache castles and dragons, giant peacocks, and even Martians. But you're going to have to wait till New Year's Eve to see it all become real. Robin Carter, News 4. For instance, do you remember how clean and white Biscayne Boulevard looks during the parade? That's because it's painted. 165 gallons of paint have been splashed on over a two-block area in front of the cameras. I might add it can be washed off with water, another reason you don't want it to rain tonight. And how about the absence of traffic lights? That's because they're removed before the parade, along with light poles and other obstructions to the camera. What's added are a lot of shrubs, trees, banners, and anything colorful, including paint. Another reason to watch where you step this early before a parade. The final result, a Hollywood set, which location manager Hal Fleming says goes up and down just like Hollywood. Well, it takes a month to make it into a picture-perfect set, and then uh, it takes about 10 days to take it all down. As you know, it, uh, we can get everything down about uh, three times as fast as we can put it up because everything has to be level and just right going up, but it comes down awfully fast. What the camera doesn't see are all the lawn chairs, wooden chairs, and bleachers tied with reservation signs that extend along the rest of the parade route. And believe it or not, there are people already there waiting, and have been since early this morning, saving seats. We put the, we roped it off yesterday afternoon, you see. And this morning we put out the chairs because it, they won't stay here overnight otherwise. Everything goes just like that, you know, that goes. <laughs> You can be assured these people will have some of the best seats in the house tonight, except for those in front of the picture tube, of course.